So you are looking for this beauty of a trophy in order to complete your Platinum for Modern Warfare 3. Well, this video is just right for you. Welcome to a complete guide on how to get the 50,000 kills in order to get the Slaughterhouse Trophy. In this video, I'm going to cover every single thing you need as well as how to get it very quickly and efficiently. If you find this video very helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. That way it shows me that you like this type of content and makes me want to make more. Now, in this video you are going to need a few specific things as well as one specific contract in order to be as efficient as possible. Now, I do not have Borealis, so this grind for me was mostly leveling up weapons as well as getting camos. But without further ado, let's hop straight into the guide. In order to get very fast progress, you are going to need the RGL80 as well as the Wonder Waff. You can pick either one of these two. If you do not have the Wonder Waff and it's on cooldown, use the RGL. Next, what you are looking for is for the Outlast contract. Now here, there are two Outlast contracts that spawned, which I am very, very grateful of. Now you do need pack one. Just for safety measures, also get a extra self revive if you do not have an extra one. Here I'm just taking down a bounty for another self revive. But yes, you do need pack one at least for the RGL or for the very least for the Wonder Wolf. Now it is not necessary, but it will help you out a lot in your run for the 50k kills now here i got a self revive but if you are going to use these two weapons keep in mind you do need phd flopper and you will need speed cola so grab your phd flopper as well as your speed cola for faster progress now we're going to go and grab the outlast contract i highly recommend you take a at least a two plate armor vest in as you will struggle a lot with a one plate armor vest two self revives the rgl80 as well as the wonder Wolf. now we're going to go and grab an outlast contract now you are going to need this specific contract otherwise you are going to struggle now that we are approaching the reactor what you are going to do is you are going to activate the reactor and most people will go outside and inside and outside and inside again to get infinite spawns but I'm going to show you a different method. Now the method that I'm going to use is going to involve cancelling the contract at the right time. Now as you can see the bar, the progress bar is almost close to 90 so I threw a decoy and when it gets around 97 or 98 you want to cancel the contract as you can see cancel contract and you still get infinite spawns the reactor is still active and you can do this in a squad and your teammates can do other contracts while you are grinding out your kills do this before it is patched now right here is where i got the slaughterhouse trophy now for some reason it doesn't pop up when i record but right there i'm doing a silly little spin right here as well because i just got the trophy and the platinum now to prove that i did indeed get the trophy here is a photo of where i got it as you can see right there the slaughterhouse trophy has been earned now i'm also going to show you that i did get the platinum right here there is the platinum and yeah that is basically all you have to do I'm also going to show you at the end my kills because most of it was before season 1 has dropped I believe I don't know if it's still glitched or not because I didn't actually get 50k but I do have close enough to 50k and I will show you that now. In this match I got 400 kills and over here as you can see I only got 49,475 kills now I believe it is bugged but most of my 
gameplay here of the four days was just killing mega abominations and just goofing around but to show you i did not have the borealis as you can see most of my weapons are not leveled up to their max as you just saw i did not have two ars maxed here i do not have two battle rifles maxed smgs are fully maxed and i got zircon scale for every single one shotguns also got zircon scale but the lmgs are not maxed meaning i cannot get zircon scale on them marksman rifles i have not worked on yet as well as snipers only got two but not all the camos for them handguns i got all four zircon scale as well as the launchers and the melee weapons now i did level up my weapons in the zombies game mode and that is how i got most of my kills is by leveling up most of my weapons but if we go into the camos as you can see i got gold and zircon scale but for the serpentinite i only got 18 out of 36 so yes that is all but i hope this guide was very helpful for those of you who are struggling as i said most of my kills were just leveling up my weapons in zombies so if you do not have all of your weapons leveled up i suggest you do it in zombies as it counts for progression towards the achievement also i just want to say thank you so much for 55 subscribers i really do appreciate that means that 55 of you enjoyed my content enough to subscribe and i really do appreciate it now next video is going to be of a skyrim let's play so please come on the regular and tune in to see what i do but until then i am diamond 35 and i will see you next time bye Contract.